Hello guys, me again, I'm Nafid. In this video, we'll discuss the relationship between local user roles and ClearPass. What I mean by this, now you can um, implement authentication in your switch, .1x authentication. In this video, we're going to show you that. Now, based on who is authenticated, we can assign a role. That role can be local user role, i.e. defined locally on the switch, or the role can be downloadable user role, not the focus of this video. So once the client authenticates, ClearPass will send back um, um, something called VSA, vendor specific attribute. This means based on the authentication or based on the connected device um, conditions, in the role we will assign things like VLAN, quality of service, what kind of VLAN may be tagged, multiple tagged VLAN and so on. So that has more flexibility than the normal, um, you know, just in the simply speaking, um, send back a VLAN on ClearPass and that's it. We can do more than that. So ClearPass in this case will configure um, a service and in the action that will be sent back to the switch will be the role assignment. That role has been created on the switch or can be multiple of them. And then the uh, role will be applied to that uh, specific connection and all settings in the role will be applicable to that user. That's what it means. So we're going to verify the switch config, verify the client authentication that um, uh, will try different types of clients, and we're going to see that the clients will be assigned different roles, and we will look how to configure that service in ClearPass. Let's have a look. Even though the, um, the configuration of this video is focused on on ClearPass, we need to understand how the switch basically is connected and how is it configured. So for the switch, you have to configure the, of course, this is on uh, Aruba switch. Um, you need to consult the documentation for other switches. This is the radio server configuration. And we have enabled dynamic authorization means it will listen to a message uh, this connection, which is COA or bounce port. Um, and then window uh, time zero, it means don't check the time uh, on the message that is sent from ClearPass, and that's to enable dot one x authentication. So this is these are global configs. Go to the interface number five where the client is connected. You enable authentication and some other parameters. You activate that authentication, and then you enable accounting as well, so we can see utilization and any accounting information. For the network start stop and then here we enable the role base so this is we're going to send a role back from ClearPass. so we will enable a role base enabled so that's authorization and we created local roads local user roads two of them one called corporate if conditions met in ClearPass, which we're going to see then the vlan that will be assigned on the local switch will be vlan 11 otherwise contractor will be assigning vlan so this is in a way rather than assign the VLANs directly from in this case uh, from the clear pass clear pass will assign a role now you might say why, why we do this because sometimes the role will uh, is not only about the VLANs the role can apply multiple other things like quality of service for example if I need to send a tag VLAN or multiple tag VLANs and one tag one untagged VLAN we do it from the role so the role is extremely more flexible than simply sending back only a VLAN assignment from the ClearPass. So that is what you see, the switch configuration. I'm going to leave a link for you at the bottom of the video so you can copy paste that. Now on the switch, we're going to test um, the end result basically. So the client is connected physically to port number five and we will see if the authentication is being successful or not. So we're going to issue the command show port access and also I have enabled debugging um, on this so if something happens we can see what's going on. Show port access client so that will show me the client that is connected and assign corporate role and that corporate role will be pre-configured. This is a pre-defined local user role on that switch with the commands I showed you earlier. And the username is test user. So on ClearPass itself, we have um, 
you know, you're going to see test user. Now on the client, we connected with a test user. I'm going to connect with a different user and we'll come back and see the result for that. Now before that, we need to make sure that the client has been assigned VLAN 11. Now that is the client. You can see a client assigned VLAN 11 and we can bing uh, gateway or some other IP. Now we are able to ping because we are um, we have successfully authenticated. We can even ping Google.com. So that is reaching out. Now we're going to replace the the username that's the uh, nick card with a different username. So that username was corporate user. We're going to have one that is non corporate user. Now we log in as a different user, a different role should be assigned. We will go back, but I'm showing you the result of the configuration. So we're going to replace the credentials with something different. So we need to go back to the switch. We'll see what is the output on the switch. We can clearly see the contractor role has been assigned and the VLAN has changed to VLAN 10. So we can see details, obviously. It says in here port 5 authenticated and um, contracted the name local one, log of pre um, period um, in five seconds, in five minutes, and then the untagged VLAN assigned in this case would be 10. We, if we go back to the client and verify the IP, IP should be different. That is VLAN 10. The previous IP, if you remember, was VLAN 11. So now we are able through the role to uh, able to assign different VLAN through the role. Now let's go back to ClearPass and have a look how is the ClearPass configured for that to work. I showed you the config on the switch which again I will leave um, um, in the comment um, so you can copy paste and modify it as per your requirements and I'll show you how ClearPass is configured for that purpose. So in the service we have this service uh, in ClearPass I call it a wired uh, role 802.1x wired yeah, okay. now um, again <clears throat> these are the conditions very simple is applicable to any wired authentication of course you can add other conditions but left it as generic one in the authentication we're using local user repository obviously you can add um, active directory and so on and in the roles we have nothing to do with this and in the enforcement here the enforcement policy used in here is wired uh, enforcement policy and this is the condition if authorization from the local user repository, the role name equals or contains employee, that's a local tag. So the logic is local tag applied or condition of the local tag, then we will take certain action. The action is otherwise, the action will be this, the default action. So if we go and just double check on this, what is this exactly? So if we go, that's the ultimate action or actions that will be taken. One is to send back contractor role to the switch. So the attribute here is to send a Hewlett Packard Enterprise. That's a switch type. So if this was Cisco, you would have said Cisco and Aruba and so on. HP user role equals contractor. So the user role will be sent back to the switch that this role existed on the switch we called local user role um, and on the same basis you can see that the other one I called the corporate role and in the attribute here send back corporate role so the switch will receive one of these two roles based on the on the conditions and uh, now in the service of course you can create the service manually if you would like to because or you can go and go to the template. So if you go to template, 
you go 802.1x and uh, here we ha I have created this before but um, if I would like to create one I'm going to just say wired route based service whatever name um, you'd like to select should make sense basically and then in the authentication you select what is the source of your authentication in local user and in the enforcement that's where the what do you like to do the role name equals say corporate that's the local role or equals employee for example then what you do you do something like equals employee then the role the value you're going to send back so equals employee let us say corporate and otherwise say contractor so once you add a service that would create all these conditions the enforcements and everything so that's the um, the service that we have I have shown you uh, previously you can always adjust you can always go and make changes to authentication source and so on change the enforcement and so on now one of the other things we need to do on the service that we have created earlier and I showed you how to create that service we would like to go ahead and enable what's so called profile endpoint and the, the concept here profile endpoint is to be able to assign um, or send uh, a message I would like to send a, term, a bounce message so uh, we're going to send back a bounce message for the device that we are talking about so that bounce message will force the switch to bounce the port and this is useful in cases where you have clients that are problems like non-windows that will not respond to COA uh, or would not respond to the VLAN um, assignment and would not pick up a new IP address in this video I explained to you the concept of local user role and how ClearPass is used to uh, once the client authenticates or um, a device connects and get discovered profiled the authentication might happen on ClearPass ClearPass will push the user role back to the switch and all settings on that user role will be applicable thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in future videos. Thank you.